Hey guys, my name is Mickey. I'm here at the Aloe flagship store in Beverly Hills. I've put together a 10 minute anti-carpal tunnel video for you so that you can help give your wrists some lovin'. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel for other great yoga content and videos. Let's get started. As an avid Instagrammer, my thumbs are constantly editing photos, writing captions, and endlessly scrolling. So if you've ever experienced numbness or pain in your wrists or fingers, you're definitely gonna wanna incorporate these few exercises and stretches into your daily routine. You can do these whether or not you're practicing yoga, but I recommend incorporating them into the start of your yoga practice so that your hands feel great in your down dog or your handstand or anytime you have any weight bearing on the wrists. So for the first stretch, you're just gonna bring your palms together in front of your heart, starting with the thumbs lined up at the sternum. Slowly, you'll take the hands down to about the waistline. You should feel a stretch in the top of the hand and even down the forearm, especially if the forearms are a little tight. You'll just hold here for about three, four breaths, taking slow inhales through the nose and exhales through the nose. A few more breaths, inhaling and exhaling. And as you hold this, make sure you're not hunching your shoulders, but the shoulders stay soft and relaxed. So you're really just focusing on opening up the hands. And just take one more breath in and out. Super simple. Go ahead and shake your wrists out side to side, like you're trying to throw your hand off of your arm. And then up and down a few times. Turn your palms to face up. And again, shake the hands. It's a little silly, that's okay, you just go with it. Bring your hands down to the ground and turn your fingers to point back towards your knees. And if they don't turn back all the way at first, don't worry, just keep practicing these stretches until they do. You wanna make sure the fingers are spread wide. You'll begin to circle your shoulders around your wrists. Keeping your breath soft and steady. And then go in the other direction just circling the shoulders around. Good, go ahead, release. From here, you're gonna turn your hands in to face towards you, but just the opposite way. That looks like your arm is on backwards and it kind of goes against all of your natural instincts, but we're trying to open up all areas of the wrist here. So you don't have to move around as it's kind of a precarious position anyways. So just take a few breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Just one more, breathe in and out. Gently, mindfully release the hands forward. Turn your right palm to face up so the fingers are pointing back towards your knees. You can put weight into your left hand or walk your knees forward if this already just feels like it's too much for the back of the hand. Open and close your fingers. You wanna swivel the eye of your elbow forward while you're doing this. So you're making kind of a funny little fist, but it's really opening up the back of the hand, the wrist extensors. And then hold that fist in tight for three, two, and one, and then go ahead and release. Switch sides, turning the left palm to face up. Again, you'll see the eye of the elbow wrap forward. That's your triceps wrapping back, just to support the shoulders here. Open and close your fingers, curling them in. Make sure you're still focusing on your breath. And then hold your fingers in tight, making that funny little fist. And then go ahead and release and flip the hand back up. Tuck your toes and press yourself back to a downward facing dog, only so you can walk your hands back to your feet. Measure out two fist distance between the inner borders of your feet. That's your personal hips distance. Now bend your knees enough and it can be any amount to slide your palms underneath the soles of the feet. You wanna make sure that the ball of your foot fits in the divot of your palm and your toes come up to your wrist creases. Here, push your weight down into the feet as you try to pull your wrists up from underneath the feet. So you're tractioning the wrist joint here. You can even wiggle your toes around a little bit and give yourself a little hand massage. Make sure that the neck is relaxed. 
So shake your head yes, and shake your head no, just to make sure there's no tension or strain in the neck. Stay here for another three full rounds of breath. Inhaling, exhaling. Last two, breathe in and out. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. All right, you're gonna keep your hands underneath your feet and start to walk yourself forward to the front of your mat. Don't worry if you fall and definitely don't worry about looking funny because you probably do and I do too and that's okay. <laughs> so once you're at the top of the mat, inhale, stretch your chest forward and release your hands. Come up halfway and then fold and bring your knees back down to the ground. Feel free to incorporate these stretches into your routine, whether or not you're stepping onto your mat that day. You can do them anywhere in your office or in your room or when you're practicing yoga. Thank you guys so much for joining me and don't forget to subscribe to Owl Yoga's channel to get other great yoga content. Thank you.